Hello, welcome back to our channel. Last time you seen us doing the nursery next door, uh, it's all finished now, so I've got a few bits and bobs that I've had to do. Uh, we've done that. Uh, we'll do another video showing you a grand tour. Today, I'm going to show you our pram and stuff. Four wheels, a push thing. A lot more to it than that. Here we've got our uh, car seat, our actual pram or buggy thing, and our isofix that the car seat fits into. Um, but yeah, we'll just go over it all, show you all out, open up this bad boy up, make it up, see what it looks like. Uh, we might do this today, might not, just depends on the, the sun outside because it's getting a little bit dark. But yeah, let's crack this open. Got my little handyman here, Douglas, just making sure that we're all okay. Are you keeping an eye on us? You're just having a wee nap, having a wee sleep? Oh, who's that? No? Okay, let's make this. First impressions of opening the box. That's a lot of instructions. Uh, I have seen it in the shop, we did have a look at it, and it looked pretty easy, it was pretty easy enough to do, but this looks pretty complicated, but yeah, let's get into it, have a look, what's this, oh, I forgot I got the bag, it's my bag, oh, sick, I forgot I got I have my own bag, oh, this is like the texture things look really cool, yeah, Sarah's got her bag. This is my bag that I'll be having like all my camera stuff and that in it. Yeah, like I'm really, I'm really close up, but it's like goth life. Loving it. And of course, like other things in this. Oh, there's a ring cover for the prom. Remember, it's going to be the opposite. I think so. Looks cool though. I've only just opened the box. I looked at one bag and I'm like super excited about it. So I've got everything out and I'm not going to lie. This is a lot more stuff than I thought would take up a pram. I just thought that you take this out and be all ready to go. But, no. Don't know what this is, don't know what that is, don't know what that is. That's a wheel, that's another wheel. Uh, what's this? I haven't even found instructions. And like the box is empty. But there's bound to be something somewhere so I just kind of got to crack on with it. I found the instructions. And the other stuff was from Ikea, which is like a sheet. This is an actual book. I thought this was going to be easy. <laughs> I think it would be like making it up and then that's yeah, it. Yeah, I think once you have it, the feels and stuff up, you, you kind of just build the frame. But, really. <coughs> says, yeah. This is actually a lot easier than I thought. Like, I was just stuck on the wheels, which is just basically like a pin. You compress it and then in it goes. Two wheels, click, click. That's the chassis on. I think it's actually alright. And I'm only on page one. <laughs> Help. <laughs> I'm doing the basket next. You look a bit confused. There's like so much different parts. It's like, it's easy, but confusing at the same time. You found it then. What's that? You found it then. Yeah. I mean like, it's easy to put on, but like, it's just highlighting what's what. Baby, I think the, the handle bit's meant to be on top of the basket. Is that? You know that bit that you've just plunked that on top of? That's to be on top, in the oh, inside yes. of the basket, yeah. Okay. It's just because if it folds down, you've then got the handle bit for carrying it. I remember it from the shop. Yeah, like that. Takes it. They must be so loud behind you, beside you. Probably. One puggle. And two puggles. Are you coping? Hey, no. I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't think I've done it right. <laughs> this is meant to be flat and it's not. Pretty sure someone's like a little gadget here or something, but I'll figure it out. I mean, who said babies can't go like that though? 
That's, that's all right. That's all right. So a bit of time's gone on. A few uh, exchanges of words between my good wife and I have went on. Uh, every instruction we looked on YouTube, uh, Google, the instruction manual all said for this thing to be parallel as well we clips it aside. No, it wasn't clips it aside. It said to have it these bits push in and this will go straight. And then in our frustration, in our annoyance, I was playing about with this thing. So, Ooh, what does this do? If you click it, it makes it straight. But anywho, that's our pram. Nice and made. Voila. And it's absolutely pitch black outside almost. Oh, it's getting dark. So I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to show you that tomorrow with the other wee bits and bobs, the ISO fix. We'll see how we got on then. Just remembered, got a cup holder. I got it for Christmas. I'm so happy. So happy. Where is it, Sarah? In the box at the back, sitting on top of it. Doesn't seem like a big present, but to me, it was like awesome because I can go to the pub and all that. And I go to the pub. Yes. I can go to the pub, I. Go to the pub with my little beer oh, cup holder thing. I know, yeah, like we just walk about the streets with a beer. With my little Diet Coke in there. This goes here, that goes there, and I have a cup holder. Morning, it's now daylight so I can get the car seat fitted. It's just started to rain so hopefully I can get it done pretty quick. But here's my car seat, it's my wee mirror. Essentially, it's just going to go here. Got my isofix, it's all hunky dory, see how it goes. Don't know what I'm doing, but I'll just play it by ear. See how this is? I don't like rain. It's raining. So here it is. This is our baby seat. Um, essentially, this might be really, really easy. But let's see how that is. Never fit one before, obviously. But I'm guessing these bits, I'm guessing here, clicks into these little latches down there, like little bars, so if you can see that in each bit. So, yeah, I think this just slots in. There is some, oh, what's this? Instructions, short instructions. Yeah, I should really need to read this, shouldn't I? Yeah, here we go, look. Oh, so this slides out, where's this? Oh, this bit. Oh, oh sweet. So where's the other one? The other one down here? The other one? Oh, ace. Right. So, yeah, we're doing this together, by the way. Yeah. Let's see how this does. Oh, whoa. Is that it? Is that all I need to do? I think that's all I need to do. Wait, so, and, oh, wait. So everything's light indicated, so this is green. So that's good, so if it was red, obviously it wouldn't be fit. That's green. Click, yeah, click, green. Oh, this side. Is that good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's green too. So this goes down. Just click down. What does this do? Oh wait, you pull this. Okay, something's beeping. That's not good. Uh, I don't think I should have done that. I just pulled this out. Oh, it's beeping. Why are you beeping? Stop beeping. What's happening? Oh no. I need to figure this out because it's beeping now and why why are you beeping? What's happening? Ah. That's not stopping. I need to figure this out. I don't know if you can hear that. You can you hear it? To the book. I really should have read this before. Just read the instructions before it. Otherwise I wouldn't have had this issue. In in? Down inside? Clicks are happening. But the beeping's not stopping. There's these three things here. Or this traffic light system here. So that's green because these are in. This is the leg bit, which I've just did. But obviously it's not liking it. Why are you not liking it? Beeping stopped, thankfully. I don't know what I did. I just panicked, blind panic, started pulling and pushing levers and everything. They're still green. 
but it's not seen green up there. The leg's now green. I moved my foot mat, so I don't know what's going to happen with this. I need to kind of stuff that down or something. But this, I swiveled this, so maybe if I swivel this back, I'll figure this out again. So pull that way. So that's it locked. Oh, that's green now. Oh, so this is going to be facing that way, and that's green. The only reason this isn't green, this is red, because the car seat still needs to go in. But I think that's it. Is that it? It's solid, like. I think that's be done. Boost. Easy. Let's go and get the car seat. So I managed to get it fixed. I had a wee moment to myself just because I don't want to make a fool of myself. But here we go. Got all three lights green, which is ace. It's a little bit pernicky, but I think like once I get used to it, I'll be fine. I mean, it's like glides easily, locked into place and that. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I got a little bit confused on how to take it out, but then I realized that on again YouTube just lift this up and then the whole thing comes out which is brilliant but I think I prefer putting it in sideways because when you put it in there's like a bar down here because you can't see what you're doing when you put it in but I'm pretty happy that's it for this video we've finished building the buggy the pram we've got the isofix fit in the car we've got the car seat fit to the isofix uh, you've seen our struggles making it um, once it's all made it's actually really easy to use um, I was just being really a typical guy and just being very impatient and not using instruction manuals. But it's all done, it's working, it's fantastic, it's a good piece of kit. Uh, baby's arriving next month, which is absolutely terrifying and exciting at the same time. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. We'll link uh, in the description down below of the uh, eye candy pram and the uh, Cybex car seat and that, in case if that's anything you fancy. And if you like this video, click like, subscribe. Look out for us next time and thank you. Bye. Oh, take me. I'm a wild point. Getting bored out looking for attention.